Well, the pieces are falling into place in college football. Uh, Sonny Dykes held his first press conference today as the new head coach at TCU. Dykes moved from crosstown rival SMU, which introduced Rhett Lashley as the new coach of the Mustangs. Mike Leslie has been following all these changes. You know, you got to wonder how it's going to affect the product on the field. I do, Chris, but honestly, my first blush reaction to all of this is I cannot wait for <laughs> September and the 101st meeting of the ballot for the Iron Skillet. TCU stole SMU's coach. Forget stories about frying frog legs. Forget anything else that has happened over the last 106 years since they first played. This just threw more fire on this rivalry than anything. And now it's really going to be fun. And on the same day, the two programs introduced their two new coaches, former SMU coach Sonny Dykes, now the leader of TCU's program. He held his press conference late this morning. Then just a couple hours ago, new SMU coach Rhett Lashley, who was once the offensive coordinator on the Hilltop under Sonny Dykes, now comes over from his gig at Miami as offensive coordinator to take over the Mustangs program and look to build on the progress they've shown in recent years. I spent a year here in this program. I was blown away by the people that I met. I was blown away by the players that were on the roster. Uh, it was really um, an eye-opening experience for me just to see what kind of place this was. I always knew it was good looking out from the, from the outside in, but having a chance to be here for a year really opened my eyes to to what an incredible place this is. We have great support. We have all the things we need. We have all the resources we need to, to bring a championship to the Hilltop and to be successful. And uh, so I'm really excited about being home and having that opportunity to do that. I mean, if you didn't see it the other day, they had a sign up at the final SMU game that Sonny Dykes was still coaching that called him Judas Dykes. That's how heated this has gotten. So the skillet, which has, let's be honest, has gotten a serious jolt in the last few years with just the advent of SMU being good again, now gets sent nuclear by all of this. And Ariel Placencia found some fans today who had some thoughts on the rivalry. It was a beautiful sunny day on Tuesday. It's a little upsetting, kind of frustrating. Except for SMU students. I mean, I think it's disappointing that Sunny left to begin with. I think everyone just wants to know why. On Tuesday, former SMU head football coach Sonny Dykes was officially announced as the Horn Frogs' new leader. It sucks that it was going to TCU. Because it's one thing if you go to another school, but if you go to the rival, our rival, it's kind of like, all right. Only 40 miles separate SMU and TCU. We're excited. We're really excited. And it was sunny in Fort Worth Tuesday. I've done a little bit of research and he's putting together a really good staff, so. TCU's new head football coach also needs to trade in all his red and blue for purple. I was surprised. I saw his Instagram bio and he still had Pony Up in there and I was like, oh, I need to change that. TCU students are excited about the new hire, but at the same time. Not seeing Gary Patterson on the sidelines after like 20 something years is going to feel weird. I was sad with how long he's like been with us. It was a bit of a bummer, mm -hmm. but, but we're, we're really excited for the new coach. A new coach. That's something students at both schools are getting used to. Rhett Lashley was officially introduced as SMU's new coach Tuesday. I feel like that's going to be a lot of adapting, especially for the football players. And you can bet everybody's got September 24th circled on the calendar. I mean, I think it'll be interesting. I mean, considering he came over from SMU, there might be a little extra spice in that Iron Skillet game next year. Oh, of course, us. Pony up. Yeah, that's, we got that. At SMU and TCU, I'm Ariel Placencia.